WBHO or Wilson Bailey Homes Ovcon dates back to 1970 when Wilson Homes Group was formed by John Wilson and Brian Holmes. Exactly. So that combination name is exactly what you'd expect. That's where it came from, the putting together of these various businesses, including Ovcon, somewhere along the line. But to be fair to these guys, from being a fairly small player, I would say they're now probably the preeminent player in the industry, particularly with regard to the high-end, high-profile, sexy sort of contract work. And it tells a story that they are the one that we're mentioning first, because that means their market cap is the largest in the sector. On that point, the market cap here is 7.59 billion rand, price to earnings ratio of 10.2 and dividend yields 2.54 so that is correct they did pay a dividend recently that's also a distinguishing factor in the group uh, but let's go into the detail with this one i suspect actually this is probably the one which people will be most keen on although the five-year chart there also reflects a little bit of pain towards the right hand side talk to me about the pain that we're seeing on that chart uh, no, Wayne. look look all of these companies specifically in the last couple of months the share prices have turned down quite seriously now this is one of the better companies in the sector. You know, we'll discuss Raubex later on. That, that might be the best one in my view. But if your overall economic environment is not good, no matter how good you are as a company, you're going to battle. Now, all of these shares we're looking at today, except one, have got, when you read their financials, you can see pain. And specifically when you hear stories about discontinued operations and restructuring plan and new vision plan and skipping dividends and returning to profit from a loss situation, I mean, it just tells you the industry itself, not, it's not company specific, the industry itself is in trouble. Well, if it's not company specific, difficult then to do that bottom up stock picking mm. approach because no, the, the sector is holding like you back. But look, this company is doing a lot of things right. They had a bad experience with the construction industry related fines that were lobbed on them by the competition, uh, competition uh, negotiation process. That's still a little bit unresolved, it must be said. Um, but they've done well operationally. They've got all the best young engineers. They get all the highest margin work because they're known to do very well. So all of these glory projects like these big new corporate head offices in Santon, they're finishing off the Kusile power station, main civil works, which has been a big one for them. They've got a very good operation in Australia called ProBuild. The management team, Mike Wiley, has done a super job at the top end. He's now moving into a non-executive position, Loki Nelt. I, I think they're, a, they're a, a credible operation. I think they're going to be the best in the space. But as Wayne said, the, we're a bit lost. Yeah. We should be doing better, but we're not. The order books look okay-ish. In fact, theirs looks better than most, but it's just, there's no love out there. Momentum's mm. view on the construction of stocks, do they have exposure or do Look, you have exposure no, at this we point? we don't have any exposure whatsoever. I must say we were wrong to say three years ago, I thought the cycle was going to turn because the, the shares had been pummeled. Interest rates had fallen, economic activity was looking better, the world seemed to have stabilized and was about to recover. but. It clearly hasn't happened in, in this sector. And now with the extremely low commodity prices, all of these companies have got exposure to the mining sector, some bigger than others. But with the low commodity prices, there's just every single set of financials you look at in the mining and commodity sector. They're delaying capex, they're putting off projects, they're slowing down on their spend rate. It's not good for the environment. WBHO has traditionally had less exposure to Africa. Mm. Are we seeing that change because they've been pretty much a South African yes. play? I think so, apart from the Australian thing. Look, the one other positive thing I must say about them, because I can tell we're going to be rather frosty here, <laughs> is that they've got a very good exposure to the retail and mall construction industry. So they've been central to that whole Mall of Africa development, you know, between Midrand and Johannesburg to the northern side. That's big. And that stuff has, again, been characterized by relatively good margin work because these guys are known to deliver on time within budget because they've got those good guys on the ground you can see like when they're going to dig up catherine street here in santon to put in a rear via bus lane they get wilson bailey in because they know they'll get it done fastest as compared to some of the other players out there when hot or not no unfortunately cold on this one and this was the one that we we're going to be <laughs> yeah. the most positive about hot or not yeah, Paul? i don't think so i'm afraid not so until such time as we get some sort of sense that there's a sustained uptick in global infrastructure spending and all of the rest and associated th i don't think they're going to do badly i think the mm. share price is a little bit too low probably but i don't see that one can be hot there's no obvious catalyst to drive them yeah. higher